Hello everyone! Welcome back to the BE ILOB channel, your go-to channel for geospatial science. In this tutorial, we will dive into the amazing practical step of using SAM for satellite image segmentation. Before we dive into the exciting world of SAM, if you're new to this concept, SAM stands for Segment Anything Model. We covered the basics of SAM in our previous video, so if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend checking it out for a solid foundation. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's get started. In the first section, the provided code imports modules related to the segment anything model or SAM for image segmentation. Specifically, it uses the SAM predictor class from the segment underscore anything package to interact with the model. It also imports essential libraries such as Torch, TorchVision, NumPy, and Matplotlib. In the next cell, the variable image underscore path is assigned the file path, indicating the location of the image file to be loaded. The plt.imrid function is then used to read the image from the specified path, and the resulting image data is stored in the variable image. Subsequently, the plt.intro function is employed to visualize the image. The plt.xtix and plt.yTix functions remove the tick marks on the x and y axes, providing a cleaner appearance to the image plot. Finally, the plt.show is called to display the image plot. This code will generate a visualization depicting an RGB satellite image captured by Worldview 3 over an area characterized by diverse land cover types and various objects. In the next section, the provided code is for loading and initializing the SAM model. Let's break down the code step by step. This line specifies the file path or name of the SAM model checkpoint. To download the model checkpoint, you can visit the provided web address in the description. Download the file and place it in the same directory as your code or provide the correct path to the file. The model underscore type variable specifies the type of SAM model to use. In this case, it's vid underscore h, indicating a model with a larger architecture. The next line specifies the device to use for computation. By default, it's set to CPU, indicating that the computations will be performed on the CPU. If you have a compatible GPU and want to utilize it, you can change it to CUDA after checking its compatibility using torch.cuda.is underscore available. Then, we initialize the segmentation model using a factory function from the SAM underscore model underscore registry with the specified model type and pre-trained checkpoint. This line moves the segmentation model to the specified device, CPU or GPU. Finally, this line creates a predictor object for the segmentation model, allowing you to make predictions with the loaded model. The predictor.set underscore image method is part of the SAM framework, specifically the SAM predictor class. This method is used to prepare an image for mass prediction. The set underscore image method takes an input image as a parameter, and its purpose is to calculate the necessary image embeddings, preparing the image for subsequent mass prediction. The percent matplotlib magic command is used in IPython and Jupyter environments to configure how plots are displayed. This allows for interactive and inline visualization of plots. Next, the provided code initializes empty lists, points and labels to store click points and their labels. It defines a function on click to handle mouse clicks on an image. The function checks whether the key pressed is A or not, if true, extracts the X and Y coordinates of the click, plots a red circle at that point on the image, and stores the coordinates in the points list along with a label, in this case, the label is set to 1. The code creates a subplot using matplotlib, assigns it to the variable axe, and displays an image on the subplot using plt.imshow. The x and y axis ticks are removed from the plot using plt.x ticks and plt.y ticks. A mouse click event is connected to the function onclick using plt.gcf.canvas.mpl underscore connect. Finally, the plot is shown using plt.show. This setup allows the execution of custom code in the onclick function when a mouse click event occurs on the displayed image within the subplot. If you run the code you will see something like this. If you hold the A in uppercase mode and click on the image it will add points on the image. Initially, within this particular code snippet, the points and labels are converted into NumPy arrays. Then, 
The predictor object is used to predict masks, scores, and logits by providing input points and labels. The multi-mask underscore output equals true argument indicates that the model should generate multiple masks. This code defines a function show underscore mask and uses it to visualize masks on an image. Let's break down the code step by step. This function takes three parameters. The first one is the mask. This is a 2D array representing a binary mask. The next one is the axe which is the matplotlib axis on which the mask will be displayed. And the last one is random underscore color. A boolean parameter indicates whether to use a random color for the mask or a default shade of blue. If random underscore color is true, a random color with an alpha value is generated using np.random.random3 to create a random RGB color and np.array0.6 to set the alpha value. If random underscore color is false, a default shade of blue with the same alpha value is used. The height and width of the mask are extracted. The mask is reshaped into an RGB image by multiplying it element-wise with the color array. This results in a colored mask. The resulting colored mask image is displayed on the provided matplotlib axis. In this cell, the loop iterates over pairs of masks and scores using zip, masks, scores. For each iteration, it creates a new matplotlib figure, displays the original image, calls show underscore mask to display the current mask on the same figure, sets a title including the mask index and its score, turns off the axis, and finally shows the figure. These results in a set of images, each showing the original image overlaid with a different mask along with its corresponding title and score. Here you can see the segmentation results. As you can see, this model segments the object where we clicked on it with a high level of accuracy. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of SAM for satellite image segmentation. You can find the code examples on our GitHub page. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cutting-edge geospatial content, and we'll see you in the next video.